Hi friends, long time no see, um, but welcome back to Fun Facts with Faith. So today I wanted to talk about uh, a special day which is coming up, um, and that would be election day. So election day obviously is on Tuesday, um, and you know, it is the first Tuesday in November of every election year, um, which is kind of an odd day actually to hold elections if you think about it, right? Like why, why Tuesday? Why November? Um, there is a reason behind it. And the reason, the, the answer to that question, much like the answer to the question of like, why does all of our food have high fructose corn syrup in it, is farming. Um, so the designation of uh, the first Tuesday in November as election day occurred in 1845. Um, it was a law passed by Congress. And prior to that, um, there was like states could hold elections whenever they wanted. There was like a 34 day window before the first Wednesday in December and that was when they could hold their elections, but it could be any time within that window. Um, but the problem with that system is that you would have states with late elections um, where the results would be significantly influenced by people knowing the results in states with earlier elections. Um, so that wasn't really working out. So Congress decided to kind of streamline the process and designate like one voting day. Okay, great. Um, but why Tuesday and why November? Um, so, you know, 1845, right? Like mid 19th century, most voting, most people who were able to vote in the states at that time um, would have been farmers. Um, and those farmers generally worked pretty and lived pretty far from their polling places. So you had to allow at least a full day of travel to get there. Um, potentially. And so what day of the week are we going to pick? Well, Sunday is church and Wednesday is market day. Um, and so that basically, will, they settled on Tuesday. So you could travel, you know, you'd go to church on Sunday and then Monday would be your travel day. Tuesday you would vote and then you would be back um, for market day on Wednesday. Um, so that explains Tuesday. Why November? Um, well, spring and early summer is planting season and late summer and early fall is harvest season. Um, and then winter is obviously very cold and very difficult to travel in your little horse-drawn cart to your polling place. And so that left us with late fall, so November. Um, you know, after the harvest, but before potentially the inclement weather, uh, the current northern parts of the Midwest would disagree with that statement because they've already had snow and it's October. Um, but that was the winner and so there it is. First Tuesday in November, election day, and we have maintained that um, now over, you know, like 150 years later. So here we are. Still doing the same thing. Um, and the reason that I wanted to bring this up is, you know, not just to share this fun fact with you, but also to encourage you all um, to go out and vote. It is very important. Um, all years, but especially this year, and um, it is a civic responsibility, if not a civic duty, to vote. Um, this is your participation in the ostensible democracy that you benefit from living in. Um, and so, you know, if you are able to vote, and I, I recognize that there is a, a certain privilege in being able to vote on a Tuesday in November, um, but if you are able to vote, if you are at all able to do that, then you should. Um, and if you are in Missouri, um, you can vote absentee in person at any St. Louis Public Library branch tomorrow. Um, or you can vote in person um, on election day itself. Um, and yeah, so... Uh, welcome back. I can't, I don't know when I'll come up with another one of these, uh, to be honest, guys. It's, you know, it's a rough year, but, um, it's nice to be back. I hope you're all hanging in there. Go vote. I have a sticker. It's my sticker. I voted absentee. Here's my sticker. Um, and yeah, take care. Bye. <laughs>